Do I have <laughs> on my chin? No. What are you pointing at? I'm scratching my chin. <laughs> I'm Juju B, the real housewife of Boston. And I'm Thorgy Thor, and I kind of wish I was a housewife. Oh my gosh. Was, I love it. You know, I know exactly who you need to talk to. Who? Me, you oh. silly. Call the love hotline. Oh my God, work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a caller on the line. Ilsa, you are Amazing, mm. how can we help you? So my boyfriend, he's like a big old teddy bear. Love him so much, but he's just like not dominant. Me at five foot tall, I'm the dominant one in the relationship and I wish that he would maybe take a more dominant role. It's always those mm -hmm. tiny little chicks who are like, oh my God. That you're like <laughs> a freak in the sheets, aren't you? <laughs> You are. Have you had the conversation with him already? No, I haven't had the conversation and maybe that's the issue because it's kind of like we'll be doing things and I'll be like, why don't you try this? And he's kind of like, you know, a little nervous. Communication is always key, especially with sexuality. And I think if you just communicate, I think it bonds you closer. And I think he's gonna actually find things that he likes that he didn't know he liked before and vice versa, right? Okay, yeah, it's, not, it's all aspects though. Okay, so like, I don't wanna choose like the dinner spot every time either. You wanna feel taken care of. I think the advice of starting a conversation would be it too. Have them choose the restaurants. Mm -hmm. Start like that, start slowly, because then that's how you teach them. Listen, Elsa, you need to just like, open it up with conversation and say, babe, I'm sick of picking the restaurant. I need you to just make the plans tonight. And then we'll think <laughs> about the next steps. We're gonna have to talk to you next week. You're gonna have to come over. Yeah, we're gonna drink some wine. It's gonna be amazing. Anyway, I hope we helped you a little bit. Thank you so much for calling the Love Hotline. Of course, thank you guys so much for your help. Bye, babe. I don't know that we gave her the right advice. Well, you gave her the advice. I didn't. I was what trying. Did I, say? I don't think you said anything. You know what? I think we were trying to imagine giant berry men laying on top of you, mm -hmm. and you got lost in the in Which... the sensuality of it all. Okay. Uh, how about a little game? I love games. Okay. Uh, it's Would You Rather. Now, okay. would you rather spend the day cleaning your ex's house? Mm -hmm or having your crush come over and clean your house for the day? Okay, first of all, nobody's coming over my house. So <laughs> the answer has to be, I will reluctantly clean my ex's house. But in that process, I will put a whole bunch of mouse traps down under his bed. So when he's doing the sheet. Oh, you're like vindictive. You wanna go over there yeah. just to set Those traps. Those toes gonna be like, snap, snap, snap. Yeah, yeah, I don't want anybody in my house. That's your thing. What would you do? I don't want anybody in my house. Right. Don't touch me, do not look at me. However, I do like cleaning things because it puts me in a good zone. I like thinking about things. I'm like, I'll come over and clean your house. Hey, how about one more game? Spin the bottle. It's just us. Exactly. 